Okay, time to work on, I guess you want to call it the lower cowl uh, panel here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out. I'll work on that separately. I've got a replacement part for this, but like the cab corners, they really aren't right. I'll show you. So, <clears throat> you can see this form, and then here's the new one. So the new one would fit on kind of like that. You can kind of like fit it up there. Looks like you can trim a little bit off. Here's the difference though. <clears throat> if you can look there, you see the curve of this right here. And the curve of this are totally different. Totally different. It's not even close. So if I come back here, you can't really see in there, but you can you can kind of see where it's starting right there. Again, totally different. I know this is gonna go in, but it's not gonna go in an inch. So <clears throat> what I have to do is I'm gonna have to form this myself, uh, maybe using this part. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to be able to do that with this part. But regardless, I won't be using this whole thing anyway. I'm going to be probably trimming it off down here. Because I don't need to cut it all the way up there. So the other side is a little different story. I'm going to have to cut it up a little higher. But I'm going to cut this out. And... I put this all back up on the frame again, so now this curving underneath is going to interfere with the mounts. That's okay. I, I can. I'm going to put my stand under here, probably lift it up a little bit, and then I can tack it in. I can finish it next time I flip the thing over. I can finish this weld and stuff. But for right now, I want to see if I can get this to fit right because it's it doesn't seem like it's all that big of a deal. But the fender comes down. You can see where the fender has scraped. The fender comes down like this and goes down here to the running board. So this part is kind of got a little cutout in that fender. So this curvature has got to be right so that fits right. And this is going to be way too far off. So anyway, we'll see what I come up with. Here's what I ended up with. Um, it took a little work to get here, but let me pull this off. And take a look at the edge of that. So yeah, I had to beat that down. Now when I put this in here, underneath here is still going to have to I have to still pound that up. But I also have to fit it to the piece I put under there. So this is going to go in here like this, and then I'll weld this in, and I'll I'll form this just a little bit more over here on this end to help wrap it around here. Um, so to give you an idea, that's what I ended up with. This is kind of the original. And I will show you the part I started with. Right there. So that's what I had to do to make that part right. I had to pull this bend out a little bit, round this, flatten this out, and get this not so 90. I actually had to pull it the other way. So now this fits in where I need to do this, like that. So there's some things I gotta fix on here first, but that'll be good is what I'll, what I'll do now is when I weld this in I'm going to weld it in so the this this pink line right here is the body line that'll go right on top of the rocker you know right down here and then I'll make sure it lines up with this one right here so that'll be straight then I will weld it in here and work, work my way up. I gotta fill this, and then I'll work my way over 
as I as I'm doing that, then I can take this. See, this has to be formed a little bit better. So I'm going to hammer that into there, and I'm going to weld that in, and this will all get molded in then. And then on the bottom, you can kind of kind of see a little bit. See how it's not quite right right here. I'll hammer that in, and I'll meet it with the part that I welded in already. So that's where I'm at on this thing. So would have it been able easier to start with just a blank piece then eh, maybe i mean all i would have had to do is put a little bend in it and i could have probably curved it myself just with a hammer because that's what i ended up doing anyway uh, but i had these uh, i paid for them already and so i'm going to use them uh, they're good i mean it's good metal it's just the wrong shape i don't i don't know I don't know what this shape really is. I don't know what truck that's for, but it definitely did not match, you know, it did not match mine. So that's where I'm at. Now I got it in there. Um, it's pretty good. I mean, it, it forms properly. I left the original end on here, so I knew exactly where I had to be forms I mean that that just looks right to me I have it so it comes into here I'll weld obviously weld everything better and then this will get formed into that I don't want to seam there even though originally there was and then I will clean up all in there finish welding it all again back to the filler and this will be all good stuff so that's just a quick one on uh repairing repairing this lower um, cowl piece but you can see there's no way that and that is the same so as I did also I wanted to just kind of mention that all I used here I have a vise and I have um, body hammers, and that's really all I used to get this, this thing straightened all back the way I needed it and formed like this. I mean, then obviously weld. So when you get it kind of close, which I actually got it really close through here, it just was a little high under here. I tack welded it on here, all through here, down to here. Then I came over and I lined this up and I tack weld where it touched this. And then I pushed, hammered it and pushed it up to get that thing to follow this all the way around. You can see there's still, I haven't welded all the way around, but you can still see there's a little spot right there. I can still hammer in just a little bit to, to follow this contour better. Um, then, then I got underneath and I kind of hammered this up but again, this is this underneath here has to match up with the part that I already have in there. So I'll just end up cutting it along that and then welding it underneath. So it's all one piece like uh, like the rest of this is. And then I can f finish out my body underneath here. So that's the bottom cowl patch.